Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a mechanical keyboard and not just any old mechanical keyboard, a $59 full RGB mechanical keyboard. Meet the AJAZZ K33 RGB. Is this keyboard worth your money? Let's talk about that. This is the AJAZZ K33 RGB a full mechanical keyboard featuring Zorro blue switches and full RGB lighting. Now this keyboard retails for $59 on Amazon using Amazon Prime with free Amazon Prime shipping. If you want to pick this keyboard up, the links will be in the description down below. But let's get into reviewing this thing before you go pick it up. This keyboard is an 82 key keyboard. It's very compact and features a very sleek design. One thing about the keyboard that I do have a gripe about is the glossy plastic back. The glossy plastic back is, well, glossy plastic and picks up every single fingerprint that you do to touch it. One thing that really makes up for it though is that this back is most likely going to be on your desk and you really won't see it at all while using the keyboard, but I most likely would do a keyboard mod with this keyboard and actually try to sand down the back and do a clear coat finish or something of that nature to remove the glossy design, which a video will be coming very shortly, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see that video when it goes live. But overall, the design of the keyboard is very solid. For $59, you're getting a aluminum backed keyboard with raised keys, which is a very sleek look that I really like and it resembles like Corsair's K series of keyboards. It has the raised keys on the back plate, so you can see the metal back plate through the actual keys, and it does resemble a very premium design, minus the glossy back. The keyboard is very compact, and there are some things you should keep in mind before picking up this keyboard. The actual right shift key is very small. This is not a standard layout because it is 82 key, so you will have some difficulties finding custom keycaps, but you possibly could find them if you scour the web a little bit. The right shift key is way smaller than standard, which is something that really irks me when actually typing on this keyboard. I did an actual typing test to see how well I could type on it, and it's something that I'm really not used to because I really do use the right shift key a lot when making capitalizations in my typing. It's most likely just gonna be an adjustment thing because if I'm gonna use this keyboard as my main keyboard after I type on it for a long time, I'll get used to where the shift is and get used to it. But I think it's a fair compromise to make for this very compact design that is smaller than your normal 10 keyless keyboard. This keyboard does come with a mini USB cable that is about five feet in length. It's not the longest cable in the world, but should do the job for most people. In my case, it really wasn't long enough because of all the cable routing I do. So I picked up a USB extender that allowed me to run the cable underneath my desk it's something that I had lying around and if you have a desk that is very long and you want to run the cables a lot more neater then I would probably recommend you pick it up from Amazon it's about five bucks or so I'll leave a link down below if you want to get one yourself as for the actual switch as I mentioned there are Zorro blue switches which are basically replicas of Cherry MX blue switches they have the same tactile feel of Cherry MX blues and they do have the same feedback, the same audible click. This keyboard overall does resemble Cherry MX Blues very well, and switching over from my Razer Black Widow Ultimate Edition 2014 uses Razer Green switches, I do notice the difference between the Razer Greens, which are a lot heavier switch, compared to these Zorro Blues that have a very light typist feel to them. Now you heard enough about the actual typing, let's get into the big feature of this keyboard, the RGB lighting on board. There are a ton of modes for this keyboard, which is a big selling point for me, and the main reason why I picked up this keyboard. So what I'm going to do is sit back and let you all watch all the lighting modes of this keyboard, and also give you a little bit of a typing test to show you what the key switches actually sound like. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs>
So what is my overall opinion of this keyboard for the price? This AJAZZ K33 RGB keyboard is a great value at $59 with its 82 key layout that is a little bit difficult to get used to, but very, very nice overall build quality and design and the ability to add some custom mods to it to make it your own. This keyboard is very modder friendly with being able to do stuff like fix the glossy plastic back if you want to, just get some sandpaper and go for a fresh coat of paint and replacing the keycaps possibly, which may require a little bit of hunting, but should be pretty simple to do. One thing I'm going to be doing with this keyboard is a full custom mod where I replace the backing of this keyboard with a more sanded design and replace the keycaps and do a little bit of a sticker bomb, which is going to be a really cool video. So be sure to have the subscribe button set so you can see that video when it goes live. But overall for $59, I can't recommend another mechanical keyboard. If 82 keys is too small for you, I would definitely look into something else. But if you like the compact design and think you'd really like having an RGB keyboard like this, there really is no other real good option option on the market with full RGB lighting and a design like this that isn't going to take months to be imported from China when this option is available on Amazon today. So if you guys like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. I am new to doing keyboard reviews and keyboards are something that I'm starting to learn more about and really get into more depth with my reviews. If you have anything that I could touch on a little bit more, leave in the comment section down below because I'm always open to opinions on how I can review keyboards better and if there's anything you want me to do differently when actually reviewing them. If you really like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and check out all our social media links down below. And I really appreciate all the support we've been getting recently and I really appreciate all you out there for sticking around and hanging out with us every single day when watching our videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and have a wonderful day. Peace out.